Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I love Fridays. <laughs> but I am going to just show you what I got this week. And I thought about it. And I'm not going to show you things that I've already shown you since I've been here so much this week. The only thing that I'll probably show again is um, some earrings and some shoes. Just because, just in case anybody missed them. I'll, I'll, that's some of my favorite things I want to show you. But, you know, from MAC, I got that liner and that brush. Um, I did get Constructivist paint pot to use just by itself, and I like that. And I think that's it. And um, so that's pretty much it. Something I would got, two things I got that I have just been loving this week, and I told you about yesterday that I had been trying a new tanning thing, and it is this. It's the Clarins Glow to Go, and it was about $36, I think, and it was a little kit that came with the tanner, which is just award-winning. She said, the girl working at the Dior counter was telling me about it. She said, it's like the best, it gets the number one ratings like in the universe. <laughs> so, um, it's a gel, and I don't know if I've ever used a gel, but I really like it. Um, it creates a good color and it's pretty gradual like i've used it now i think last night was the third time and it spreads really really nice it's very gradual and what i like about it and what is different is it makes your skin so soft i don't know what is in it but you can noticeably tell that your skin is very i don't know silky feeling it doesn't dehydrate your skin at all but this little kit comes with, and I haven't used this because I had some Kate Somerville um, body exfoliate that I've been using. But this little kit comes with this, which is their Gamage Exfoliant Smoothing Body Scrub for New Skin with Bamboo Powders. Softens, smooths, and firms. So I will eventually use this because, you know, the key is to exfoliate in between tanning, and that keeps your tan looking good and your skin fresh and not a build up but this little kit was the same price that this on its own would be so if you're interested maybe now would be a good time to go and um, get the kit and then this is something I have been wanting to get for months and months and the first time I heard of it was on the MM&L show which I, I've told you guys about them it's those two girls one of them Michelle Money was on The Bachelor which I had no idea, but to try it. And they it's the always talk about cashmere mist deodorant antiperspirant, and it comes in a little thing like this. And I got it at Dillard's, and it was 18. They actually have it in some little kit now, but I just wanted to try this, and it smells so good, and it works. It works just as good or better as my. I was using the prescription strength secret or whatever, and um, this is even better. And I have not noticed it really interrupting my fragrance but it is something you need to smell it because it is something that you will smell on yourself especially if you put it on at night i've gotten where i don't put it on at night which is fine with me because you know i put lotion under my arms because i had underarm dryness so issues this is before. just it really smells good and it works and it's just something neat it's just just an extra way to feel you know have that little and i told feeling. you guys about this yesterday i got my new corrector and it was so nice when I pulled it out this morning to have plenty on my brush but I use the number one and I know a lot of you are going to go to the counter and they're going to try to get get you to get number two but I use number one and I love it I would not don't let them convince anything, you to get number so. two if you want number one because that's what I use then I got the infamous Guerlain terracotta four seasons bronzer and I have it on today and I must say that I love it I love it. I see what you guys are talking about. And of course it comes in all this nice stuff that'll end up get thrown thrown away, but it's um beautiful. So here's the colors. And what I like about it is the variation. It was very easy to either put my brush in here or put my brush in there or go all over. Very smooth and very wasn't sparkly. Luminous. And it wasn't matte. Because a lot of times like NARS Laguna is a little too sparkly and then sometimes when I use that chocolate bronzer it's just a little too matte and just flat looking. This was perfect. So much so I hated to put a blush right on top of it. So what I did is I took out my MAC by candlelight and I just put that on the very tops of my cheeks and I just went with bronzer today and I love it. So thank you for that suggestion. Um, I think I'm set between this and the Dior 
then that'll be perfect. Um, the only thing, if it wasn't summer, I might would get one shade lighter in the Dior, but for the summer, that's gonna be great. So I think that is it for makeup this week. Of course, I've bought other things like to put on my blogs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go into jewelry and then I'm gonna go to clothes. So this is something I wanted to show you again and it was the earrings I had on the other day and I actually probably could wear them today but I'm wearing another pair of new ones and they are the Rich Rocks and I have to say these are some of my all-time favorite earrings. They're just gorgeous. They're a rosy gold but it's, it's really like an apricot rosy gold. They're just so pretty. And I got these and I think I told you 95, maybe they're 85, I can't remember. There's something like that. The next ones I got are Rich Rocks, and these were 65, and I've got them on today. They are the neatest little earrings, and they had them in three different types. They had this, which is like the gunmetal with little crystals in there, and I just thought it would be perfect to wear with all of my spiky jewelry and stuff that I don't want to wear. You know, it's hard to get something to go with it exactly, but you don't want to be too matchy-matchy. Then they had the gold with crystals, and then they had silver with crystals. So a couple of different types of these, and I love the back like that. And I'll show you what they look like. And they on. look like that. So they give, I think they give a lot of show for the size, and they're real light and just perfect. And then this is one of my favorite, favorite things. I got the Ben Amun Double Necklace. And this one is, as you can see, shorter and it just has the double, it's just like my long one, but just a double strand. And I've been waiting and waiting for this and they just got them in. So I checked with her yesterday at Oliver, or day before yesterday, and she had one of these left and I think two of the long ones, which I love them equally. I would not give up my long one either because I love the way it looks with collars that point down, like a V-neck. And I love the way it helps the drape of a flowy shirt. It makes it more fitted. So either one I would suggest. Of course, this one is a little bit more. I can't remember how much it was. It was still a hundred and something, but the longer single one is a little bit more inexpensive. So um, of course I'll put Oliver's name down below and also Tory Bell, because that's the um, place that I got the Rich Rocks. And I got a few more things from there too. So, um, and then some more stuff I got from Oliver as far as jewelry goes. You guys are going to think she's got enough of those, but I don't because I love them. And she, when she ordered this, she told me about it because she said she thought about me. So any of you that want the Leah Lena bracelets, they just got in a new order and they just got one of my, you know, the first one that I got that's kind of like a, um, just a buff or sand kind of nude color. They've got one of those. But I've been wanting one with a silver buckle and look at this one. Ooh, I just love it. It's the hot pink and let's see what it is. The Genuine Stingray, made in USA, Lee Elena. And I adore it. These are just awesome. They're just I don't know what it is. They're just so much better than the typical bangle because they don't, um, they're just much more comfortable to wear. And I just love them. I get so many compliments because they're different looking, but yet they're still sleek. It's like they're sleek, but they're still bold. And I just A love that. This is another bracelet that I've got. And I spotted this on the way out the door and it is the double wrap lee elena and it has the silver buckle so that that way i'll have a colored wide one and then this thin one and it's just plain now this one was 119 i can't remember how much the other ones are and i'm not sure what this is let's see if it says um oh my goodness this one's genuine anaconda <laughs> that reminds me of that song i can't remember what is it um you know the one i had to put it down here big butts or something <laughs> oh gosh that was going back um but I love it and it just I tried it on and it just looks so sleek all the ones they sell at Oliver are small but they fit they they're the typical seven inch so I love that I could have probably put that on today but and then next thing I got was Hold this on. and Gloria at Oliver was unpacking this when I walked in the other day and it was a new jewelry line that I had not seen and it's handmade 
and the brand is Betsy and Aya, I believe. And it was just something different. And look, she even does her own hooks are like this. Let me see if I can get this in here. But this is a good, like she said, a good layering piece. And this is the necklace. So you can see it'll um, hit, you know, like right here. And it's that kind of geometric shape thing again. And the actual chain is silver. And then the little triangles are like brass. And let's see, the price on this wasn't as bad. Let's see. I've got the, thought I had the receipt right here. Okay, yeah. The Sandstorm Necklace is what this is, and it was 49 So if any of you would like one, you could call them, but it's so pretty. And it's, you know, handmade. And then the earrings I got to go with it are these. And they're just little studs. And let's see how much these were. These are called the Mirage Stud Earrings, and they were 29 And Gloria, the girl that worked there, had these on. They just looked really cute. And I like, some days I just want to wear a stud earring. And um, so that's these. And I just thought that looked cute with that necklace on a day that you're just wearing a tank top and jeans and you just want to put on something simple. So that's a new designer and that's kind of neat for me. You know, I love to try new Okay, stuff. so now for my clothes that I got this week. And they're all comfy, good stuff. I got another one of the James Purse tanks a new color came in and i picked it up and it's just like the i'm not sure what it would be called it's kind of like a grayish beigey color just a real neutral color and this is just like the one i had on yesterday and they are just fitted so nice and so i got that then i'm gonna go ahead and show you this this is a scarf that i have been eyeing at tori bell for months now and I went ahead and picked it up the other day it's just a beautiful pink scarf and the brand is um, Shaw Shaw oh, okay shawsmithlondon.com is the brand of it and the scarf's name is Alexa and it's fuchsia and it was $48 and it is just really silky feeling and has the pretty little tassels and I just thought this would look so good in the summertime with a white tank, jeans, and heels. You know, something like that. It was just so pretty. It'd be neat to match your lipstick to it, too. So that's one of the things I got there. And then I got one of these, which is the T by Alexander Wang. I went back and got this color, which is kind of like the tank. It's kind of like a, well, this is more of a tan. Not much gray in it. Just a... A real nice tan color and I just love these I mean you just have to feel these all of these nice t-shirts just feel good and the seams are just so nice they're not twisted on the way down and you just I think you get what you pay for in a lot of ways and then I got this it which is a tank by T for Alexander T by Alexander Wang or whatever and that shirt I can't remember it's like 70 something this one was a little bit more expensive I guess because of the cut and everything. This one was 92. But I had been told that this was just a fabulous tank because of the way it's cut. See how it comes up high? And then that's like a racer back. And I would probably, a lot of you could probably get by with a little bandeau or something underneath it. I will probably just wear like another little cami or something underneath it or probably a strapless bra. I'm kind of in the market for a good strapless bra. So, but I love that. Isn't that pretty? And it's just, I wish you could feel it because it's not, um, I don't know okay, what it's so this made is 100% linen and it says dry clean only, which I don't know, I might, I might not, <laughs> probably will, but you could wear it a couple of times, but it's just so and this pretty. is a tank that I picked up at Tory Bell and they sell different brands than Oliver and some of the other places. And that's, you know, neat. It's different things. And this is another grayish. This is the front. And I just thought that was pretty the way the back is. And this is just a really, it's real flowy and soft. It reminds me of the Michael Lauren t-shirts. And the brand on this is Heather, made in USA. And this was 62. It's the V-neck tank in pewter is the color. And it's just such a pretty, I just thought that would look so good with like white jeans and some really good jewelry, a good bangle, and some nice shoes. This is, you know the black t-shirt that I have 
I wore it, I think, last year. <laughs> last year. I think I wore it last week. <laughs> it's been a long week. And um, it's Michael Lauren. And this, they got some more in in different colors. And I love that t-shirt. I wear it all the time. And it's the kind that has, like, the dolman sleeves that come, like, this comes right at the elbow. And they had it in white. And I just wish you could feel this. It just feels so soft. It's like the, like baby clothes, you know? So I got the white, and then I got the other color that it came in, which is this tan color, which I used to really stay away from this color, and now I've gotten where I kind of like it. It's just something different from that. Me. And these are, let's see, they're not cheap either. They're, this is called the Dylan Tea. And this says L-A-T, so I bet this is called like latte or something. And these are 68, and I get the medium. And they're, see how they have kind of like a ribbing? And they hang real nice too. And then I got this color also in the Michael Lauren tank. And I've never tried one of his tanks, but it's just real, it feels really soft. And the tank was 46. Then this is a few things. I went into Tory Bell the other day. They are gonna get CC Sky jewelry. So I stopped in there to see if they had gotten that jewelry in and she said no, that it would probably be around the end of March, 1st of April. But of course, while I was in there, I looked around and I asked her, because they sell a lot of fancy dresses and stuff too, kind of like, um, they're kind of like in between monkeys and Oliver, as far as being, you know, Oliver's is edgier and monkeys is dressier. And Tory Bell's kind of in the middle and they sell different brands too. And she pulled this out and I just had to have it. It's one of these t-shirts like I love with the shoulders out, but this has even more detail with the, you know, little piping around it. And I just love that it has the pocket and it has the stripes. It's just something totally different. And I thought this would look so good with like boyfriend jeans and, you know, wedges or something like that. And let's see, it was 99. So it was a little bit more. And it says medium tie dye, V-neck tee. So, and the brand is Red 23, and it was made in the USA, so I'm sure it's one of those nicer brands, but it feels just awesome. It would actually be pretty with a skirt, too, like a little white, um, not mini skirt, but, you know, like a straight little white skirt that came above the knee. So, I got that. And then this is a brand I have always, I just love the name of it, and I've always wanted to get something from this brand because they have really cool things that get your attention, kind of like Wild Fox, but not as um, tongue-in-cheek as Wild Fox and not as 60, but still a little bit different. And the brand is called Hot Hippie, and they sell it um, They sell it at Shop Bop and stuff like that. And then I saw this tank by them the other day, and I just loved it. And it's called the Multi-Horse Print Tank, and it was 86, which is just an awesome price for Hot Hippie. Most everything they have is like $200 but I saw it and I just thought it was really cool looking. You know, I do not have horses, but I love horses. My family has had horses. My aunt has had a horse long as I can remember, both my aunts, and uh, my dad grew up with horses. So, you know, we've all ridden horses and stuff like that. Brooke used to really be into riding the horses and um, used to scare John to death. The whole time she was on the horse, he would be just freaking out. So, um, I love that, and it feels really silky, and I just think it'll look so good with jeans and just maybe another blank black tank under it, or maybe like a bandeau. The thing I got as far as clothes is this, and I had seen this weeks ago, and I went ahead and got it, and it is the Three Dot brand, which is made in the USA, and this is kind of like Splendid. If you're familiar with Splendid clothes, it's just cottony, comfortable, good clothes, and this is a maxi dress, and it is very, very long. When I held it up, I thought, oh, goodness. It's gonna to be too long, but it'll actually probably be perfect to wear with wedges. If I wanted to wear it with flip-flops, I'll probably have to have it hemmed, but I thought what I would do is just keep it long and just wear this one with my wedges. And um, it's just really pretty, you know, really soft, and I just love the color. I love that it's red, but it's not too in your face. And um, so that was the last thing of clothes that I got, and I'll go on to the shoes. Oh, no, these are the new ones. Okay, these are the other ones that I got and I haven't showed you yet. You know how like real colorful and striped and flowery and all these different color wedges are coming out? Look at these. And they look so good on. I tried these on the day I was wearing my green jeans. And here they are. And they're the cork with the, oh, and they're not. 
here. Let me take this out. It might look better without this thing in there. But here they are. So they are the cork with all these different colors in there. And they are just as comfortable as you cannot believe. See how the strap goes around? And then they have the good studs on them. And they just look really, really pretty on because your foot kind of just... They're still nude, even though they have all these colors in them. And it just looked so pretty with the green. And so I thought this would look so good with just jeans and a t-shirt or any color that you have on any of the colored jeans or any color dress or maxi dress or anything. Aren't they cute? I just love them. And they were, I think, either 79 or 89. They were under 100. So those are the other shoes that I got. And then most of you have probably already seen these. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the name. The name of those, of course, they're Gianni Beanie, and they're called Wrap It. That's funny because my other ones are called Zip It. So they're called Wrap It Natural Multi. And if you like this design but don't like the size of the heel or whatever, I saw another lady getting a flat version of these. It was just a sandal in the flat. So they were really cute too. And then I just got size 8. They're pretty true to size. So Gianni Beanie, these are the Gianni Beanie Zip It. And I love them. I wore them all day the other day, and they were just awesome. Matter of fact, I'm going to wear them today. So I'll put these on. I just have on jeans today, but you'll see that. Matter of fact, it's probably time for my outfit of the okay, day, so, so I'll be today right back. I have on my just regular brown below the belt, belt. And this is the, I don't know if you guys remember, I think I showed it to you last week, the Wild Fox t shirt that just says loved. And I love it. It's just so soft. And if you want to wear it out, like that you can but i just think i always think it looks a little bit better if you'll let your belt show just a little bit and it looks just a little i don't know it gives it more interest and then these jeans i have on are some of my favorite favorite jeans they are the citizens of humanity morrison and see how they start off and how light and then they go down to the darker and they are the boot cut and then i've got on the zip it shoes today so yeah. here's the entire outfit Oh, always back away. See, these t-shirts are just so worth it. I just think they look good. Okay, then for accessories, I have on these little earrings, Rich Rocks, that I showed you. And I am wearing the, somebody was asking me about the um, How Close the Illusoir and the Laura Mercier Alloy were. Did they need both? This is the Laura Mercier Alloy. And I will tell you that the things that come in a tube are going to spread a lot easier than the, you know, Chanel pots or whatever those things are called, Diambres, and the pencils. So this is a little bit easier, but you don't get quite the dimension that you do, you know, where it starts off dark. So it's a, you know, it's good to have both. I say get both of them. <laughs> and um, I don't have on any ring. I don't know why I don't. Um, I don't know if I'll put one on. But I've got my Bent A Moon bracelet and the necklace and my Rich Rocks bangles and my blush colored fossil aluminum watch and the fragrance I'm going to put on today. Hmm. I think I might put on Lexington Avenue today. And I've got to go run a bunch of errands and um, go to the post office, of course. I've got a big pile of boxes to take. You should see me wheeling in there with my grocery buggy. <laughs> It's real cute. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.